When most prospective young students tour a new college, they expect that what they see is what they're going to get. For Oglethorpe students, the situation was no different. However, upon acceptance and arrival onto Oglethorpe's campus, some students came to realize that the lavish foods they were promised was all a facade. Rumors of raw meat, cockroaches, and moldy bread began to spread, words you never want to hear associated with your dining experience. Are the rumors true? Is the food truly inedible? Or have the imaginations of the students run wild? Maybe it's somewhere in between, but that's what we're here to investigate. My name is Amy Quick. I am a senior here at Oglethorpe. I'm a film and media studies major. Hi, my name is Elle. I'm a senior at Oglethorpe, and my major is studio art with a focus in film and media and a minor in film. My name is Martha Stalmy. I am a sophomore, and I'm doing film and media studies. What have you heard rumor-wise about the food at Oglethorpe? Uh, not great things. Uh, I've experienced not great things. A friend of mine was said that they had a salad and they got food poisoning, which apparently is a thing that can happen. It's just the frequency that this has happened before. I've heard that quite a few times. I know one of my friends got food poisoning from a salad bar once, which is interesting how that happens. A lot of students were concerned about the, the overall um, health of them themselves. Um, I think they were saying like chicken is almost always undercooked. Because one time I had a burger last year. Um, the burger was overcooked and undercooked. Um, I know that there's like the prison, the prison thing. The same company also serves food at a prison. It seemed like some of the rumors had backing, so we talked to some alumni to hear what they had to say. What are some of the rumors you have heard about the Oakwood cafeteria during your time as a student? Yikes, lol. The only one I could think was the rat running through. Indeed was real as I was there. It was a mouse, not a full NYC rat, and mass food poisoning. Although the rumors seemed to be true, it was not feasible for students to skip meals they had already paid for because they were simply hungry. Luckily, Oglethorpe student Jacob Sanders and some of his peers decided to do something about it. Well, my name is Jacob Sanders. I'm a senior physics major, um, and I'm currently the president manager of PD's Pantry around 20 to 30 percent of our students were like food insecure um so the inspiration was basically to create a food pantry to give students the access to food that they need our overall goal i would say is to address the surface level of food insecurity because a lot of that it's, it's a very uh deep-rooted issue um but our goal is to kind of support students um with some supplemental access to food outside of the cab. I know the people that work there are really nice and I don't want this to go back on them. It's just that a lot of people's experience with the calf food hasn't been great. It's warm most of the time. Um, it's well seasoned most of the time. It's pretty standard, I guess. I've seen stuff before and I've seen pictures, but um, I also don't like completely hate it. I, I know like they're trying their best and stuff like that. And sometimes they have chicken nuggets. And the chicken nuggets are good. The breakfast is all right some days. Um, like I'll get bacon and there'll be pancakes or um, french toast or waffles and that's all right. The Alfredo gnocchi I had today was pretty all right. A little undercooked, but not too bad. Amidst the ups and downs of the state of the calf, the students of Oglethorpe seem to have found common ground in their shared experiences. It's clear that Aramark's practices have left much to be desired from the students. However, from cultivating and maintaining community through sharing rumors to establishing a food pantry that directly supports the members of Oglethorpe, the students have been brought together by the shared language of food.